Here we are in Bruce Park in Greenwich, Connecticut. April 24th, 2010. This water system contains trophy white perch. I've seen them caught well in excess of three and a half pounds here. People have told me the state record could be in here and has been caught here, but I don't know. That's verifiable. But it's the most beautiful time of year to be in Connecticut. And Greenwich Prime Meats is just down the road on Bluce Park Avenue. And they sell the very same sandwiches, salads, and cuts of meat that Monero's used to have. Because Monero's is now defunct. But the butchers from Monero, some of them opened up Greenwich Prime Meats a few years ago, and it's a wonderful place. Ubiquitous spring. The birds dancing in the air, proclaiming their songs. I'm going to walk over to the um, outlet because this connects to the Long Island Sound. And I'm going to show where the waterfall is that fish migrate to and from these, this waterway. Striped bass are cut down here. Pretty good sized striped bass. Where we're going to go. It's going to be about two minutes down the video from here. But here is one of the inlets and outlets to this waterway. And I've seen big horseshoe crabs coming in here and all sorts of saltwater fish, but they're blocked. But they come through the grate here, they wedge their way through certain types of fish. Appears to be a weeping cherry. I'm walking over to the waterway here in Bruce Park. This park is literally only 45 minutes outside of Manhattan. You can take Metro Train North to Greenwich, Connecticut. Get off and walk here. Spend your day in this beautiful, lovely park. There's a gazebo. All kinds of exotic trees. Mansions to be seen. It's low tide right now, so it's not going to look very pretty. But at high tide, the water's eight feet higher and it covers that whole area that's exposed. Now to rock and mud and what have you. But here's where the water goes out of that particular pond. But the striped bass caught right in here at high tide at the right time of year. I've seen some very big ones and bluefish pulled out of here. Here we have some swans. We have the beautiful mansion. It's Donald Trump has a mansion. It might be that one there. I don't know if he sold it though. Daffodils. Okay, now here we go. I'm showing you where the, the fishing can be very lucrative here. It's low tide, of course, now, but the water, as I'll point out in the video, goes right to the top of that wall there practically. You can see by the coloration of the rocks where it's brownish. That's all underwater. It's just the very top layer of rock is above. It's all underwater most of that. And here is the water outlet. And the white perch migrate between the fresh water 
ponds here and the salt water. That's one reason they're larger than most freshwater ponds because they tend to be uh, andromedous. I'm not sure what the word is, but they can actually migrate into salt water for a time. So you can see the various bobbers on the wire. I'll try to get a closer photo of that. I'm going to walk to the other pond. Here's the other pond. It's all a system of ponds interconnected here. This is the pond where they catch blue crabs. Right here. And large, very large white perch. This is the better pond to fish. But all the ponds contain white perch. Cross over now. Stride the guardrail there. This body of water here is filled with white perch. I've caught many, but the larger ones I've seen others catch. So I don't frequently fish this pond. I'm more into salt water or to go after trout and bass. But I'd like to enlighten all those who are interested about this wonderful area. That's all normally filled with water. That's just a half mile up. It's Long Island Sound there. And uh, if you see my other videos on Steamboat Road, you'll see the pier that ends. It's, it's not too far from that area.